you've all heard me talk about chain piecing and you know that I love to do it because I get very productive. But a lot of you have told me that you have some issues with it, especially certain blocks, because you tend to have a traffic jam. One of the blocks is this, a square to square. You're putting two corners on together and then two after that. Or a flying geese unit, where it looks like this. It's the angle that it goes in that's the issue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some tricks and some tips on how to be productive with chain piecing that's like this instead of just one right after the other where you have to angle the block you'll be very happy once you learn how to do this do you like this quote behind me i didn't chain piece this but this is the light background version of to the point which it was designed by tammy silvers of tamarini's she's coming to the quilt festival I gotta get this puppy quilted because I wanna hang it in the quilt show. I've got a couple of her patterns that I tested um, that I've just made because I really like her patterns and I wanna get those hung up and I'd love to get my picture taken with her in front of those. All right, let's get to the video. This is the unit that we want, this square and a square. And chain piecing is kind of a pain to do this because if you think about it, when we go to put these together, I've taken my squares and I've drawn my diagonal line on there. I think you can see that. What you do is you take this and you put it in a corner. Okay. Now it's important to know that the diagonal line is going to touch the center on this block, the center of the sides. If you put the diagonal line the wrong way, it's going nowhere on this particular block. So you do want to make sure that that is correct and they're right sides together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew right on this line and I'm going to show you something that when you go to put something together, a uh, chain piece, people say, well, I get this like traffic jam and I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. I'm just going to sew right on the line and when I go to do the next one, I'm simply going to put this, put it back in the same place and when I go to do this, that's kind of jammed. Here's a really simple thing to do. You think you want to do this? Just rotate the block. And look, it's going to just feed right in there. Now, I'm going to keep adding a few of these. And we're just going to keep doing more. And, I, you know, you, you go in this way and it's going to work. And so I'm right on that line. You're going to do your next one. You'll notice what I have. I have my piles of what I'm sewing together, right, one to the right of me and one to the left. It just makes it a lot easier. So again, I might be tempted to do this, but I'm going to see that overlapping. And it's automatically going to just feed itself so beautifully that you could just do a, a bunch of these, and then you're going to get this big chain of pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. See how they're all nice together? You can just see this. I'm going to just snip this in between. Makes it easy. There's my original leader. And for this particular block, what I'm doing is I'm going to be putting another square just down on the other side here, like this, okay? Same thing, so it's gonna end up looking like this. Same thing's gonna happen when we go to chain these. Watch what I do. Now let's say I wanted to end this because I wanted to do something with all of them. I'm just gonna put my next chain piece, my leader and ender, in here, and then it's ready for the next piece. You all know how I feel about leader and enders. <laughs> so in order to get this, we simply add our next piece down here. And it doesn't matter if you start this way or this way. It, it's, it, it makes no difference. So all I'm gonna do is just do a bunch of these, piece these, See, I have to make 48 of these square-to-square -square units. 
if I did these all individually, sewed one corner, trimmed it, took it out, sewed this, it would just take me a very long time. See, I sometimes have to rearrange and forget what I'm doing. And it's not because I'm talking, it's just the way that it is. So now I have a whole bunch of these units. So what I like to do is keep them all going the same direction. It just makes it so much easier for me when I go to trim. Because now, what's gonna happen is, we're going to trim a quarter of an inch off from both sides. So this turns in, oops, turns into this. Looks kind of weird, but that turns into that. This gets pressed out in this pattern. You'll need to read your pattern to know what happens, you know, what you have to do. But those get pressed out. So it's going to look like this now. I'm gonna do the same thing. I am going to be sewing these like this. Now you can pin this, you can use your seam aligned glue if you're gonna do that. You wanna pin in this section. You don't wanna pin in here. It just, it makes it easier to pin there. So I don't put them both up at the same time, but I just get busy, I get started again. It doesn't really matter. I'm doing it this way so you can see. And now you've got some bulk here, the beginning and end of both of this. And that's from your seam allowance being um, pressed open or pressed over. So you really want to make sure that you are careful when you're starting that. Let me find the rest of those. <laughs> I had them, but then tossed them away. So what I mean by that is this thickness here. You want to be careful when you're sewing that. You might need your stiletto to hold it into place to get it back in there right. And especially if it's wanting to move down here, I typically am holding, you can see where I'm holding and it's not gonna hurt it at all. It doesn't mess it up at all. So on this one, I'm gonna do one more here and then I'm gonna turn it around and show you that next, the next move. This, is, this makes it so much easier than when I first was doing these. I was, I, I just was following the instructions and it said, sew one, take it out, press it, and then sew the other side, press it. And I thought, it didn't take me long before I realized, oh, I can do two sides. They're not gonna touch, they're not gonna overlap. So when I get to this second side here, same thing as before, don't forget, don't go nowhere. <laughs> don't go to nowhere. Don't go nowhere, boy, that's poor English. So make sure that the there is always, on this pattern in particular, that your lines are always going through the center. So, and one more, then I'm gonna show you that next little step that makes this really nice and easy. Again, it just feeds right in there. I'm gonna have all 48 of these done pretty darn quickly. Put my leader in here. These are something new you haven't seen before, half square triangles. They were leftover half square triangles. So I have two colors. And I'll show you, I'm choosing what, I, what I'm choosing to not do on this one. When you trim off these corners, if this was bigger, this was just a little too small for me. If this was bigger, I could trim this off this quarter of an inch and then that excess here, that would be about that. I could sew it again and have a half square triangle. I could sew off this excess, you know, cut my quarter of an inch. That looks like this. And what I trimmed off here, if you look at this, you would have, there would have been this much. I would have sewn another line down here and then would have had a half square triangle that's about like that. Now for me, right now, that's a little too small to play with. But you could do this. And that's what these pieces are that I'm working with. These were much larger pieces and this was the excess. 
And just to show you, look how many I've already done of those. And I have just the same amount of this as this with the white. So I'm just being very productive. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So when you're chain piecing, if you think a little bit about it, you can be very productive and quick to get the projects that you need, the, the blocks that you need.